Hi everyone! Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change your network settings on your Xerox VersaLink product. After you walk up to the machine, you're going to start by hitting the login button. You're going to need to log in as an administrator. The username is admin and the password is normally 1111 or the serial number. After you log in, you're going to need to hit the device icon and scroll down to select connectivity. Once you get into connectivity, you're going to want to go to Ethernet. Then you will see the four settings, IPv4, IPv6, DNS server, and rated speed. In this case, most of the time, all you're going to need to change is the IPv4 settings and the DNS server. In IPv4, you're going to want to change the mode to static so you can change the IP address. The host name you can set to whatever you'd like, it just has to be in all capital letters. And then the IP address you're going to want to set to the one that you'd like. If you don't know, reach out to either uh, Premier Office Systems or your IT and we can assist uh, with changing that. Next you will need to change the DNS server address. If you don't know what it is, you can put google.com in as the domain name. And for the IPv4 servers, you can put 8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .4. Some networks have custom DNS, which you can get from your IT that manages it. Once you're finished changing the settings, just hit OK and then finish, and the machine will prompt you to reboot. Then your settings will be applied. Moving on, now I'll show you how to do it also from the web interface. You don't have to do it twice, you can either do it on the walk-up or on the web interface, depending on your choice. First, you're going to want to type in the current IP address. If you don't have this, you can always reach out to Premier or your IT. Once you get in, it's going to take you to the web interface, and you're going to need to log in as an administrator. Again, the default password is 1111 or the serial number. Once you've logged in, you're going to need to go to connectivity then Ethernet, and then you're going to see the options you can change. Under IPv4, you can hit Edit, and then change it to Static, and then change the IP address, Subnet Mask, and Gateway to the requested one. Once that's set, you'll need to change the DNS server as well. If you don't know what it is, you can always set it for Google as default. Once you're finished with DNS, you can change the host name. Remember, it has to be all capital letters. Once you hit OK, hit Restart Now and now your network settings have successfully changed. 